How's it going, Hunt Stand? It is May 18th today. We have a beautiful day in South Central Nebraska. I got my dad here with me. We we're down here on our home farm and we're trying something different. As you guys know, deer love soybeans and we've planted them a lot in the past. We do a lot of food plots and wildlife management on our properties. And this year, I wanted to try something a little bit different that has soybeans in it, but it also has some extras in it as well. And that is the Evolve Harvest Mean Bean Pro. Uh, we're excited to give this a try. It has forage soybeans in it, cow peas, as well as Lab Lab. So this should be a fantastic mix. Comes in quarter acre bags. I've got four of them here. We have pretty much exactly an acre back here behind us. I've measured it out on the Hunt Stand app. And uh, that's how we got our acres. Comes in handy, that is for sure, to have those tools at your fingertips on the Hunt Stand app. But we got the tractor back here uh, behind me with the no-till drill. And as you can see back here, this is the food plot and there's something growing in it. There's rye growing in it. We planted rye into it last fall. We've let it grow up. Uh, we've had some amazing rains this spring. It looks fantastic. It's suppressed the weeds. And now we're going to drill directly into that rye and lay it over. Then we'll come over with a crimper and crimp it, terminate the rye. We should have an awesome seed bed that way. Um, should suppress the weeds and these beans should come up fantastic. Uh, another nice thing the rye is going to do for us when we lay it down is when we get those rains, it's going to help keep the sunshine off of that bare soil and keep that moisture down in there to get this Mean Bean Pro shooting up right away and uh, keep that moisture in the ground where we need it. So we're going to get the drill set here for these beans and we're going to get it filled up. Dad's going to hop on. I'm going to run the camera and show you guys how we do this. So let's go. All right, guys, my dad has made a few passes here. You can see him right back here on the tractor going. This rye is laying down fantastic. It's doing exactly what we want it to. Lay down and create an awesome weed barrier and a moisture barrier. Uh, we got this in at the perfect seed rate. It is just the perfect thickness in here. I'm really excited about it. Uh, we've got some moisture over the last few days. We have some more rain coming tomorrow and I believe in two days from now. So. We're hitting this absolutely perfect, but one thing I wanted to tell you guys, a couple different things, why we're planning this Mean Bean Pro in this location, and number two, why are we, why we are planning it this late in May. Um, we're gonna start off by why we selected this area. Number one, this is just a food plot that we have you know, planted over the years. It's always been a really good location. Uh, the river is right over here, and it, it butts into a feeder creek right here that goes into the river. And it just creates an awesome little funnel right here where this creek dumps into the river. The deer cross the river right over here. They come up into our creek and head into the main part of our farm. It's always been just a really good spot uh, pretty much throughout my entire lifetime. But we wanted to go beans here this year because I have five and a half acres of corn over here in the rest of this field. And this bottom little corner next to the creek is all going to be beans. So it should be just an amazing hot spot right here, uh, early season and just through the entire year. And late season should be good right here too. But uh, the biggest reason why we're planting it so late here in May, it's 18th of May. Uh, we could even go a little bit later, but we've got a lot of moisture coming the next few days. Wanted to get this in the ground. Uh, that is because I want these beans to be very green the first couple weeks of September 
when I am going to be trying to hunt early season whitetails. Our season comes in September 1st here in Nebraska. We should have some really good bucks here. And I personally have never killed a velvet deer and I'd really like to this year. I'm kind of setting that as my goal is to kill an early season whitetail. Really hope that I could get one in velvet, but uh, this could be the spot that we end up doing it right here. Uh, the corn will still be standing at that time. Uh, these beans should be protected back here. It should be very, very secluded. And I really think that we can get a big mature buck in these beans early season and hopefully get him down with the Matthews. All right, hunt stand, this project today went flawlessly. Uh, I am super excited about this food plot. We planted into moisture. We have basically no weeds, guys. This rye in here did exactly what we needed to do. This is like the third year we've been doing this uh, when we plant rye in the fall. Uh, it, it just works fantastic. Creates an unbelievable weed barrier. Uh, and when you lay it down like this, uh, it just creates an aw awesome mulch to hold that moisture into the ground and get that direct sunlight uh, off the soil, off the bare dirt, so it doesn't dry out when it gets really hot. Uh, this should come up fast, guys. Uh, we've got rain coming tomorrow, and in two days from now, we planted into moisture. We had some rain last week. Uh, I'm saying in just a few days, this Mean Bean Pro is gonna be out of the ground. Uh, we came out pretty much exactly perfect uh, on the drill itself as far as we needed an acre. We were just a tiny, tiny bit short, but when I measured this out with um, hunt stand, it was like 1.15 acres or something like that. So we literally had like three passes left. So we had the drill set just about perfect. Um, I've got some leftover beans uh, at the office. My dad actually ran back to grab those real quick just to get the last three passes filled in. But I'm really excited to see how this mix does, guys. Usually I just plant straight soybeans. Uh, but, you know, with the forage soybeans, we should have some really awesome green leafy growth on those. And with the Lab Lab, the same, um, as well as the cow peas. The cow peas should grow up uh, the Lab Lab and the uh, soybeans. So this should just be a gnarly, awesome green food source come September. And hopefully we'll be able to slip in here and put a big buck down with the Matthews. So we'll see what happens, but uh, as of right now, I think we're looking really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was educational for you. Drop some questions in the comments. If you have them, make sure you subscribe to the Hut Stand channel here. And until next time, guys, we will see you. God bless.